And the Headbangers Ball continues as promised. We have a couple of guys from Dirty Looks here. We have and Henrik and Gene. I keep wanting to say Henrik for Henrik, some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Would that be the correct pronunciation, actually? No, I think it's it's Henrik. Henrik. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's more the... the it's like Danish, Lick. German. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it Ost Ostergaard? Ostergaard. Ostergaard. Yeah, that Danish. That would be Danish. Yeah. Good to have you guys on the ball cool. this evening. Thank you. I, I feel like I just never really woke up and just cruising along this evening so you can yeah. keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here to talk about your, uh, what, I guess your third album by now? So, uh, the answer is second one. Didn't you? I, yeah, we, it's yeah, our second, second one on Atlantic. Atlantic if you yeah. want to get technical, it's like our 80 business. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, Turn of the Screw. Yeah. Who's screwing you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> come up with a title like that. Would, how did you, uh, how'd that come about? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, I think that was Gene's idea. Well, it's like, you know, it's, that's how we've been, like, dealing with our whole career. <laughs> From deal to deal, manager to manager, that's, like, what's been happening to us, so... Mm -hmm. We're finally doing it to other people. <laughs> now we have, uh, actually, I think we have a shot of the, uh, the album cover, which, first of all, I, lo I love the clock on the wall, which, uh, which I, <laughs> I really, I love that one of those at home. My clock? Why give it, it to you. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'll take it off your hands anytime. Why is only the dog noticing the screw coming through the ceiling, though? You know, dogs are, like, wise to that kind of stuff. Yeah, they, like, know when earthquakes are going to happen and nuclear and wars and stuff, you know? They can, like... <laughs> oh, they, they, they sense all this stuff minutes ahead of, of the of the complete disaster. Yeah, yeah. Now your uh, your previous album, you wrote most of your songs on the road, correct? Yeah, like in clubs, type of like in clubs, because uh, we we never like you know had like months off to write songs, so I, we had to play like three or four times a week. So we'd like write them in clubs and play them that night. And is it the same for this album? Um, no. No, this one, like, we kind of wrote uh, in, like, a rehearsal hall type of thing, most of them. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, half of them. Half of them were kind of like that. We'll talk more about a couple of the songs and more about the album that you guys are up to in a bit. If you have time to hang with us on the... We can hang. Uh, yeah. ...the magic bus. Yeah. In the meantime, we had the new crew for you. This is Motley Crew with Dr. Fielder. We're back with Dirty Looks as the Headbangers Ball continues. We're talking about a couple of... Well, actually, I want to talk about a couple of songs on, uh, on your new album. For instance, Come On, Frenchie. Because you, you guys, as you said, you wrote this in a, in a rehearsal hall kind of environment. I was wondering what a lot of these songs are about. Come on, Frenchie. <laughs> uh, come, come on, Frenchie's about, uh, it's about like, uh, wow, I don't even know if I can say it. <laughs> well, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Sure. It's, it's, about, it's about young French girls. Uh -huh. uh, and what they do. And, and what they do, and it's kind of like a, fu a But it's like what they song. wouldn't do, that's why he's saying, yeah. come on, Frenchie. It's, it's like a know. joke kind of a song, it's nothing like really serious. Uh, right how many there, French girls do you really know? Two. Oh, six. <laughs> <laughs> he knows six, I know At the three. same time, right? Yeah. How about uh, one of my favorite ones is Have Some Balls? Yeah. And uh, do we really have to get into that, or is it well, that one's no, no, that one, no, that one's pretty, that one's not like real bad. It's uh, that one's about uh, <laughs> <laughs> the rest. Uh, no, that one's like it's like uh, you know how like everybody always wants to do something, you know, but they're always like uh, their their guts aren't into it. So it's like you know, come on, have some balls and, and do what you really want to do, and don't do what everybody else wants you to do. That's what it's supposed to be about, sort mm -hmm. of, kind of. There's uh, I'm I'm still waiting for you to. To whip out the uh, the gun on me, I'm trying to see if I can figure out what, what question it is that you're going to draw this on. Keep uh, going. How about uh, musical influences? <clears throat> no. <laughs> uh, like I like uh, I like kind of like obscure bands like uh, like this band called White, which I really like a lot, and uh, like Zeppelin and The Who and, and ACDC, and he likes all kinds of weird stuff. I like and, really weird stuff. Yeah, I, like, I mean, I started out with Kiss and Aerosmith because like you know that's. In my age bracket that's what i'm i'd be about yeah but uh like right now i like listen to really freaky stuff because like and we don't even want to mention what nah, you just took us nah, we don't. <laughs> yeah, okay i don't want to know what it is anyway we do have uh your video all lined up and ready to go nobody rides for free uh tell us about the shoot anything in particular it I, smelled really bad yeah it smelled really bad it was like shot in in this like uh part of la and they like assigned like uh local local bums to go and get us our beers and stuff like that but like people were getting arrested it was for real it was like it had real bums in it and it had real like, hookers real hookers and, and, well, mexicans. and real mexicans and white people and black people and all kinds of people no, and, <laughs> no but, but it was like shot behind this methadone clinic and it was we were trying to kind of like get like the real type of feel for like you they know kept throwing their orange peels at us like <laughs> at first when we started playing the song it was really cool but then like five hours into it <laughs> 
Yeah, hey, you know, they wanted to the, the buildings wanted like thousands of dollars to shut up and not call the cops, you know. Yeah. So, and the cops were already there, so they decided that they were going to throw stuff at us instead of calling the cops. And that's what ended did. up. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the final result of the video. Here's Dirty Looks with Nobody Rides for Free. Dirty Look still with us here in the Headbangers Ball, and we still got a little while to go, and I've still been trying to, to tweak Gene's woofers to, to get exactly <laughs> that right. Now, you guys have obviously been doing some promotion for, uh, for a couple of days, and you're getting ready for, well, the tour, obviously. What is the question that has been irking you that everyone obviously has been asking you? You're not going to mention it. I'm not going to say it. Uh, it's you, just this one question that I'm like really getting tired of hearing. Would you please, just, just for the benefit of everybody who's stayed with us this long, Okay, how do they put it? I'll say, say so, it. I'm shooting so, now. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about the comparison to ACDC? I mean, we get that a lot, you know. <laughs> got it for you. Yeah. Uh, but, you made him say it. So. No, I'll, I'll take the hit. Uh, no, but it's, it's just like... Uh, I, we weren't going to bring that up, but since I brought it up, it's like we really respect ACDC and they're really cool. And I think like on our last album, we kind of got like, you know, nailed with that. And I think it was by like one part of one song. one part of one yeah. song. And and like I think that they're really cool, but I don't think like we sound like them too much. But they've like influenced influenced us, right? <laughs> like they uh, <laughs> influence a lot. I think they've influenced a lot of bands like over the years. So that's that's basically the question. Yeah, but it's like we don't set out and try. But he to, wouldn't like, shoot you, man. I mean, he wouldn't shoot you. Not for yeah, real. Yeah, not for real. No, not no. with this. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you come in with some really happy to me and do some business. No, okay. Well, obviously everyone can check you guys out on the road. Uh, you started uh, just, uh, uh, was it uh, two days ago? Yeah. Where, where are you going to be tomorrow night? Uh, we're going to be in Albany at the Winners Cafe. No, I think it's just called Winners. <laughs> Saratoga's Sar Winners. Saratoga's Winners. Sheba's Winners, something. And like everybody that, that comes there is going to be a winner. Right. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you both for, for dropping free by beer the ball. For <laughs> you heard it first. Free beer for everybody tomorrow at the show. Once again, thanks, thanks for dropping by. And here's King's X with Over My Head.